Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to do a demo illustrating the concept of vacuum and air pressure. In history, this was a very important concept, uh, whether or not there is such a thing as a vacuum and what is the nature of the vacuum. You can read a, a whole books and whole um, uh, articles on that. Um, in history, one of the first persons that illustrated the concept of the vacuum happened in uh, the Magdeburg, where uh, this person took these huge Magdeburg spheres, emptied out the air from inside of it, and showed that the vacuum can be created, or something close to a vacuum can be created. So today we're going to do something similar. I'm going to take two small spheres, and then I'm going to try to suck out all the air from the, uh, the sphere. So if there is such a thing as a vacuum or something near a vacuum, what's going to happen? The air pressure from the outside is going to be pushing in, right? The air pressure from the outside. And then since nothing is pushing out or since very little is pushing out, most of the pressure uh, from pushing from the air pressure will cause the two uh, spheres to stick together and it's going to be very hard to separate them. Uh, on Earth, the atmospheric sea level pressure is 14.7 psi pounds per square inch or we say also 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals which uh, you can say 101.3 kilopascals which is 101.3 kilo newton per meter squared. So every meter squared of our bodies has 101.3 kilonewtons of force pushing down on it. Now, we don't feel that uh, because from the inside, we also have air pushing out. And see, on my hand, there's pressure pushing this way, and there's pressure pushing this way from all sides, so I don't really feel it. But if I were to vacuum out the top air, what would happen? The pressure from the inside will, will push me, and I will not even be able to hold my hands. It will push me out like this. This is what happens in an airplane. If the windows somehow were to break in an airplane, the pressure outside would be much smaller than the pressure inside, and the inside pressure would push you out, and there's no stopping that. You would be just pushed out of the airplane, and you would just fly out. So it's not that so much that the outside air is sucking you out, but it's the inside air that's pushing you to the outside. So what we have here is the two spheres, right? Two small spheres like this. So before, in order to do this, you have to put nice sealant here so that when you touch these, and you can kind of rotate them, that they will seal very well, right? And then I have it connected to this air pump like this. And then I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna close this. First, it's gonna be, has to be open. Then I'm gonna close it so that the air cannot come back in. And then when the air uh, inside is pretty much emptied out, then I'm gonna try to pull this. So right now, if I try to pull it, because I haven't uh, sucked out the air, I was able to pull it out, right? So let's put this sealant here. This one is a lubricant. So you just take that lubricant and then you kind of just put it around this, right? You try to go like this. Try your best to make it nice and so you can seal it, lubricating. You can also do the other side. Okay, go like that. Okay, nice, okay now let's put these together, spin them a little couple times, right, and then open the valve, spin them a couple times and then start pumping out the air. Keep doing that for a while. Hopefully I sealed it good, good enough. Okay. Close this back up and then try to separate them. Okay, here I go. 
No way. I'm, I'm turning red here. I'm willing to do anything for physics. Here I go. Come on, come on, come on. Now in history, they had these teams of horses on the Magdeburg spheres, teams of horses on both sides. And it was a sphere, I believe it was a diameter of about one meter, big, big sphere. And the horses tried to separate them and they couldn't. They might have been able to separate these two because the spheres are smaller. When the spheres are smaller, this is pounds per square inch. So the bigger the surface area, the more force there is on the spheres. So if the spheres were are smaller, the horses might have been able to separate this, but the big spheres, they were not able to separate. But you see, for me, I can't even separate this. We probably need a group of like uh, three, four people. Okay, now, if I let the air back in, watch this. Open the valve. Okay. And then have the air come back in. Okay, take this out. So what happened? You heard the sound. The air came back in there. Okay, you are able to separate them. So this concept proves the concept of the vacuum. So there is such a thing. You can create a vacuum and the concept of air pressure. The fact that this weight of air is pressing down on us. Okay, so you can see that you're not able to separate these spheres if you suck out the air from inside of the spirits, okay? Really nice demo. Thank you very much.